Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the issue you're having with TIWorker.exe on your Windows computer. So this is a Windows module installer worker which is related to the Windows Update Service. So we're going to go over how to hopefully resolve it by using a couple different potential fixes for it. So the first thing I would suggest would be to clear up the old Windows Update cache. In order to do that, it's going to be quite simple. We're going to first start by opening up the Start menu. Just look on the Start button one time. Type in Services. One of the best managers should come back with services. Just left click on that one time. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is locate the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Double click on it. Make sure startup type is either set to automatic or automatic delayed start. And if server status is running, you want to stop it. So left click on stop. And then left click on OK. Now you want to go down to the Windows Update Service near the bottom of this. So double click on Windows Update. Startup type again automatic, but you want to stop the service here because we're going to have to clear out the old Windows Update cache. So it be pretty simple, but we just want to turn that off so it doesn't interfere with this process. And once that is done, you want to just also want to apply and OK. OK, and once that's done, you want to go ahead and open up the Start menu. Type in Windows Explorer or File Explorer and just open that up. Should be the uh, best match. OK, so now you want to go navigate over to this PC on the left side. So I'll click on that. I'm going to go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on. In my case, it's a C drive, so I'm going to just double click on that. 
and then I'm going to go underneath Windows, so again double click Windows, scroll down to you get to software distribution, double click on the software distribution, double click on download, and now all the folders listed in here, so all these items in here, just do control A on your keyboard to select all of them, or just highlight over all of them, and then right click, left click on delete, So if you get this folder access and I just check mark where it says do this for all current items and left click on continue. So once that's done, just close out of here. We suggest restart your computer and check for updates and see if that has resolved the problem. So if that still didn't work for you, we're going to go in to try something else here. So after restarting your computer, try opening up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Right click on it. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. So there's two separate commands I'm going to have in the description of the video. The first one would be a system file integrity check scanner. So the first one I would want you to try would be SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to the forward slash. Hit enter and let it run. This will take some time to run. Alternatively, try restarting your computer after running the scan. If that still doesn't work, try and open up another command prompt window run as administrator. And this time, again, I'm going to have a command in the description of the video I want you guys to try out. So just copy it out of my description, go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click at it, and left click on paste. Basically just DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup image space forward slash restore health. When it enter, take some time to run again. So just be patient for both of these scans. Don't run them both at the same time like I'm showing. I just wanted to give you guys an idea. So basically, restart your computer after the first step I went through with clearing out the software distribution folder, restart after running the SFC scan, and, and then also restart after running the deployment image servicing and management tool. So, so pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.